Good afternoon to all. Um, my esteemed colleagues have talked <coughs> already uh, about TBML, why why it is important, what it is, and we all know we all know that uh, how money launderers have progressed very fast. In fact, faster than us from a cash to check kite flying to Ponzi schemes. Now trade because trade for them is the best uh, solution for them. It is the best vehicle right now. Uh, banking industry started uh, reacting a little late, but then we did. But uh, the good thing is that India started pretty well in time. It's, we started under the leadership of FIU in 2014, when a uh, working group of all major banks was formed under the leadership of FIU and RBI and IBA were also uh, contributing to it. And uh, as Praveen said, just in time, for the forex trade scam, which happened uh, last year, we were already ready with the gu trade uh, guidance note uh, and the RFIs, which were associated with that. So, and that is why uh, FIU could release it immediately after that scam happened uh, for in implementation by all banks. Uh, but that was only the beginning of the challenge for for the banks because. Uh, the, the RFIs were big in number, 63 to start with. So next uh, step for us was to have another uh, level of discussion with the regulator and tell them how we will implement it, how many we can implement, which ones are not possible to implement. Probably many of you will be knowing about all that phase that we went through. And finally, uh, in April this year, we uh, decided on some 42 uh, RFIs, which we said, okay, these are this, this is the stock that we'll be able to implement. And all of these are important to detect uh, trade-based uh, money laundering in our banks. So, uh, and there, there are, I won't go through the whole list of it, you will probably know it, but you know that not all of these were possible to be implemented through software, right? As he said, there is no software itself for trade at the moment. But even these uh, RFIs, the way they have been, they, they are not all implementable in, in software. So some of them are where account level activities are to be examined, but most of them relate to document checks, for example. Payments, high risk jurisdiction goods coming in, high risk goods coming in, uh, different type of alternate remittances methods that money launderers apply. Very difficult to get them uh, configured in a software.